Namaskar my dear students. Today in the dental material section, we will be discussing two very important elastic impression materials, which are the hydrocolloids, agar and the alginate. These materials are very important as they come as short note in the theory exam. They are also important for the viva in the practical exam, especially if you are given alginate for manipulation. Okay, so let's begin. First of all, what is an impression? We all know that a dental impression is the negative replica of the hard and the soft oral tissues. We make the impression and then we pour it with a gypsum product and then we get the positive replica that is the cast, dye or the model. If we just go back to the classification, the elastic impression materials can be of two types, the aqueous hydrocolloids and the non-aqueous elastomers. The aqueous hydrocolloids can be further of two, that is depending on the setting reaction, agar which is reversible and alginate which is irreversible. The non-aqueous elastomers can be polysulfides, silicones and polyether. Silicon can be further condensation and addition silicon. These all set by the polymerization reaction. Now, if you want to go to the details of the classification, I have shared the link of the video and I have also shared the video for the elastomers. In this video, we will be discussing the two hydrocolloids that is agar and alginate. Before going further, let us first understand what is a colloid. You know, colloid is considered as the fourth state of matter. A colloid is a mixture in which one substance is suspended throughout another substance. It mainly consists of two phases. One phase is the dispersed phase, which is the dispersed particles or the suspended particles. And the second is the dispersion phase or the medium, the substance in which the particles are suspended. And if this dispersion phase is water, it is known as hydrocolloid. So in a hydrocolloid, the colloid particles, they are, they spread throughout the water. Okay. And depending on the quantity of the water available, it can take a sol form or the second is the gel form. The sol form is a solution or a more or less viscous liquid. While the gel form is jelly-like consistency, it is like an elastic semi-solid. Okay, the impression material is introduced in the mouth as a sol and when it converts into a gel, it is removed. This conversion of sol to gel can be physical, like the change in the temperature in the agar, that is why it is reversible. Or this conversion can be a chemical reaction as in the alginate, that is why it is the irreversible hydrocolloid. So first of all, let us discuss agar. Agar was introduced by Alpha Spoller of Vienna in 1925. Okay, then it was introduced in the dental profession and adopted commercially as Denta Call in 1928. It was the first successful elastic impression material. And agar is an organic hydrophilic colloid which is extracted from a seaweed, gelidium or gracilaria. Okay, it is the sulfuric ester of a linear polymer of galactose. Composition of the agar. Agar is mainly composed of the agar, which is the basic constituent. It is 13 to 17 percent for the tray material and 6 to 8 percent for the syringe material. It acts, it is the gelling agent. Okay, second is the borax. Borax, it improves the strength of the gel. It is mainly added in 0 0.2 to 0.5%, but the main disadvantage is that it retards the setting of plaster. Okay, third is the potassium sulfate. It is the gypsum hardener. It mainly counteracts the retarding eff effect of the borax. Then comes the alkyl benzoates. Alkyl benzoates, they are added in 0.1% and they act as preservatives. Water is the dispersion medium or the reaction medium. It is added in uh, more than 80%. Then is the hard wax, which acts as a filler. It mainly affects the strength and the viscosity of the material. Thixotropic materials like glycerin and thymol are added, which acts as a plasticizer. 
then the coloring and the fl uh, flavoring agent for the patient's comfort and the acceptance. Uses of agar. You know, agar as an impression material has been largely replaced by alginate and the rubber base material. At present, widely it is mainly used for the cast duplication during the fabrication of cast metal removable partial denture. Though it can be used for full mouth impression without deep undercuts, previously it was used for FPD impressions also, but as I have said that it has been replaced by elastomers now. It is used as a tissue conditioner also. Agar is mainly supplied in three forms. First, the gel in the collapsible tubes. It is mainly used for making the impressions. Cartridges and the sticks, which is the syringe material. And third, in the bulk container, which is mainly used for the duplication of the casts. Now, let us discuss the making of the impression with the agar. First is the impression tray, which is used. As we can see in the picture, the rim lock trays are used with water circulating devices. The rim lock, uh, there is a beading on the inside edge of the tray, which helps to retain the material. And there is an inlet and the outlet for connecting the water tubes. Okay, then we need a hydrocolloid conditioner. It has three sections. The first is the boiling or the liquefaction section. Second is the storage and third is the tempering section. The temperature of these sections is for the liquefaction or the boiling, the temperature should be 100 degrees Celsius. The storage uh, chamber should have 65 degrees Celsius and the tempering section should have 45 degrees Celsius. Okay, now for making the impression, first we need to liquefy the gel in the tube. So it is kept in the liquefaction uh, chamber uh, for 10 minutes. Then a uh, tube is then placed in the storage bath at 65 degrees Celsius to retain the sole condition. Okay, until we need to use it. Okay, so when the patient comes, we need to load the impression tray with this hydrocolloid sole and then we cover it with the gauze piece. Okay, then this loaded tray is kept in the tempering section for two to three minutes so that it is tolerated by the oral tissues. Okay, the working time for uh, agar is in the range of 7 to 15 minutes and setting time is about 5 minutes. You know, the storage of the agar impression is not at all recommended, so it should be poured immediately. Now comes the properties of the agar. Okay, the gelation of the agar, it takes place around 37 degrees Celsius, which is the mouth temperature. And the liquefaction, it occurs at 60 to 70 degrees Celsius higher than the gelation temperature, which is around 100 degrees Celsius. Okay, now what is hysteresis? The temperature lag between this liquefaction and gelation is called as hysteresis, a common viva question. Then the, if we talk about the dimensional stability, if the impression is left in the open air or the dry atmosphere, what will happen? The water is lost by the process of syneresis and evaporation. So the impression will shrink. Okay. And uh, in the syneresis, there is exuding of the fluid from the gel. Okay. We will see the droplets of exudate on the surface. And if the impression is immersed in water, it will swell. This is called as imbibition. So to avoid these dimensional changes, the agar impression should be poured immediately. Next are the mechanical properties of the agar impression. Gelation we have just discussed. Talking about the elastic recovery, it is very good. It is highly elastic, which is around 98.8, making it to 99% elastic recovery. Flexibility is around 4 to 15%. Some good materials, they offer a flexibility of 20% also. Compressive strength is 0.78 megapascals in the range of 0.5 to 5, uh, 0.9. And the tear strength is 0 0.8 to 0 0.9. Okay, so the tear strength is also very good. Now, if we talk about the pros and cons of the agar impression material, first, if we talk about the advantages, it is able to produce accurate dyes if the material is properly handled. 
then it has good elastic properties which help to produce most of the undercut areas it has good uh, elastic recovery also it has good recovery from distortion it is hydrophilic so moist mouth is not a problem okay and it is uh, it can be easily poured also okay no problems of bubbles then it is palatable and well tolerated uh, so it is comfortable to the patient economical it is reusable so it is good as a duplicating material though we don't uh, recommend the reuse in the impression as a impression material so it becomes cost effective also now coming to the disadvantages it does not flow well when we compare to the light body elastomers it cannot be electroplated again compared with the elastomers thermal discomfort can be there on insertion okay so uh, it can be difficult for the patient create discomfort then dimensional instability due to the properties of synergesis evaporation and imbibition then it tears easily as compared to the elastomers then only one model can be poured as compared to the multiple models with the addition silicon then it needs special equipment and technique a hydrocolloid conditioner and the uh, water cool trays as we just discussed last disadvantage there is risk of contamination and there is deterioration of the properties on the reuse alginate our next material that we have to discuss the word alginate it comes from the term algin or alginic acid it is the mucus extract by the brown seaweed okay it is basically uh, the n hydro beta d manuronic acid this term was coined by scottish chemist okay it is an it is an elastic irreversible hydrocolloid irreversible because it sets by the chemical reaction there are two types of alginate depending on the setting time the fast setting alginate with a setting time of 1 to 2 minutes and type 2 uh, alginate which is slow setting with a setting time of 2 to 4 minutes coming to the composition of alginate the first is the potassium or the sodium alginate it is around 15% it dissolves in water and it then it reacts with the calcium ions okay so it actively participates in the setting reaction second calcium sulfate dihydrate it is around 16% it is the main reactor okay it will react with the potassium or the sodium alginate to form a dihydrate insoluble alginate gel okay third is the zinc oxide these are the filler particles they mainly improve the properties of the material and the setting time potassium titanium fluoride it is the accelerator it basically counteracts the inhibiting effect of the hydrocolloid on setting of the stone so it ensures good quality uh, surface of the cast diatomaceous earth these are the filler particles they control the consistency of the mix and also the flexibility of the set material try sodium phosphate it is the retarder a very common multiple choice question also asked and in viva also it is asked so it mainly controls the setting time to produce either a regular fast set alginate okay next is the coloring agents and the flavoring agents so different uh, flavoring agents are now added like peppermint anise mango orange okay to make it more uh, comfortable to the patient alginates are mainly supplied as in the powder form that is packed in the uh, bulk packing like in tins beans or sachets or packets okay this is the most common impression material we use in orthodontics then for partially edentulous patients also a plastic scoop is supplied uh, for dispensing the powder and a plastic cylinder is there for measuring the water okay now here come some modified alginates which are some favorite questions of the examiner also first is it is supplied in the form of a sol containing the water okay a reactor plaster of paris is supplied separately then they are mixed second two paste system one containing the alginate sol and the second contains the calcium reactor third are the chromatic alginate these are the color changing alginates 
they basically contain the acid base indicator that changes the color at critical points so it indicates the mixing time then loading into the mouth and then the setting time fourth are the dustless alginates they basically uh, they avoid the dust inhalation so the material the powder particles are coated with a material like glycol okay then last are the siliconized alginates the alginates are modified by the incorporation of silicon polymers these basically improves the physical properties now comes the uses of alginate impression material it is used for uh, impression making as i told this is the most common impression material which is used it can be used when there are undercuts in the mouth with excessive flow of saliva as it is a hydrophilic material then for partial dentures for partially edentulous patients it is also used for making preliminary impressions for the complete dentures then orthodontic study models working cast for duplicating models also alginate is used now comes the setting reaction of alginate you know when the alginate powder it is mixed with water the alginate powder contains sodium alginate and the reactor calcium sulfate so when it is mixed with water it forms a insoluble gel which is calcium alginate okay the salt to gel conversion is taking place by a chemical reaction but this reaction is very fast so we don't get enough working time so the reaction is delayed by addition of a retarder that is trisodium phosphate as we discussed in the composition also so what will happen this calcium sulfate it will react with the retarder first once the quantity of retarder is over then what will happen then this main reaction will take place that is sodium alginate with calcium sulfate will form an insoluble gel calcium alginate in the presence of water okay now we are getting enough uh, working time so that we can make the impression now comes the making of an alginate impression first the mixing equipment it includes a clean flexible plastic bowl and a clean wide bladed uh, stiff metal spatula the bowl should be clean there should be no plaster particles or it will accelerate the setting of the alginate second preweight powder and the water are taken okay the ideal water powder ratio is 20 ml of water with 8 grams of powder okay um, mainly the scoop and the measure is provided by the manufacturer so one measure of water with two levels of scoops of powder is sufficient third water is taken first then the powder is sprinkled into the uh, water the mixing is started with a stirring motion to wet the powder particles with the water followed by the rapid spatulation by the swiping or the stropping against the sides of the bowl or a vigorous uh, figure 8 motion can be used this mainly helps to remove the air bubbles so the proper mix should be smooth and creamy with minimum of voids and it should not drip off the spatula when it is raised from the bowl this is often checked by the examiner when you are showing the mixing okay the mixing time is uh, 45 to 60 seconds the fast set alginates 45 seconds and normal set is 60 seconds then the impression material is loaded into the tray the impression should be left in the mouth for uh, at least 2 to 3 minutes after the initial gelation this will increase the strength and elasticity of the alginate gel okay now comes the removal the impression should be removed quickly with a sudden force you know a long gentle pull it can cause the alginate to tear off or separate away from the tray okay then the impression is washed with cold water to remove any saliva or blood and disinfected it should be disinfected with spraying or immersion with a suitable disinfectant like glutyl dehyde or iodoform the alginate impression should be poured immediately okay within 15 minutes if it becomes necessary to store then it should be wrapped in a moist paper towel or a sealed bag to maintain 100% humidity or best to store the impression in a humidifier next are the properties of the alginate first is the taste and the odor alginate has a pleasant taste and smell 
different flavors are being added by the manufacturers like orange mango strawberry okay second is the flexibility uh, alginate has about 14% of flexibility at a stress of 1000 gram per centimeter cube the lower water powder ratio results in lower flexibility third is the elastic recovery it is good but it is lower than agar the compressive strength is around 0.5 to 0.9 megapascals and the tear strength is around 0.4 to 0.7 okay now the factors that affect the strength uh, first the water powder ratio too much or little water it reduces the gel strength over and under mixing it also reduces the strength and the time of removal okay strength increases if the time of removal is delayed after the initial gel, uh, gelation then comes the dimensional stability which is poor because if the impression is kept in the open air there will be evaporation or cinerysis and if it is uh, immersed in water it will cause imbibition biological properties there is no known allergic or toxic reactions but yes the silica particles which are present in the dust it may cause a health hazard so dust free alginates are now available adhesion the adhesion of the impression with a tray is poor so either the mechanical uh, adhesion is done with the use of the perforated trays or tray adhesives are used last is the shelf life the alginate impression it deteriorates at high temperature and humidity so it should always be uh, stored in a cool dry environment and the shelf life is uh, around 1 year now coming to the pros and cons of alginate impression material first are the advantages these are hydrophilic materials used in the presence of moisture so there is no need for isolation and the casts can also be poured very nicely easily they have pleasant taste and odor so they are very comfortable to the patient they are non toxic non staining again com adding comfort to the patient they are inexpensive so the cost is low disadvantages first these materials have low tear strength okay as compared to the elastomers so they have limited use in fpd provide less surface detail than the other materials as compared to the elastomeric materials they are dimensionally unstable therefore they must be poured immediately okay and only one cast can be retrieved as we can get multiple cast in the elastomers in the addition silicon laminate technique you know it is a agar alginate combination technique it is often asked in the theory exam also and in the viva also so what is the principle behind it that uh, we inject the syringe agar on the area to be recorded so it will touch the teeth and the tissue and the impression tray is loaded with a chilled alginate so alginate will be towards the tray so what is the principle behind it that the alginate it gels by the chemical reaction which is towards the tray side while the agar gels by means of contact with the cool alginate rather than the water circulating tray okay the advantage of this technique is as the agar is in contact with the teeth so maximum details can be achieved less equipment is needed as we don't need water cool trays okay less time it will set faster the limitations of this technique is that the bond between the agar and the alginate may not always be sound so it can cause separation higher viscosity of alginate it may displace the agar during the seating now let us just quickly summarize uh, the differences like agar versus alginate the properties if we talk about the flexibility agar has higher flexibility as compared to the alginate which is around 20% and alginate 14% elasticity and elastic recovery though it is near but yes agar has better elastic recovery as compared to the alginate reproduction of details agar gives better reproduction around 25 micrometer while it is less for the alginate which is around 75 micro the tear strength of agar is more as compared to the alginate then the dimensional stability dimensional stability is poor for both but if we compare agar has better dimensional stability as compared to alginate
reuse agar can be reused while alginate cannot be reused uh, this reuse property is mainly uh, used for uh, using agar as a cast duplication material then comes the manipulation the manipulation of agar is difficult because it needs a conditioner then a rim lock water cool trays are needed while it is very easy for alginate even the easy in manipulation makes alginate as the most popular impression material to be used so that's all for this topic today please like and share with your friends and your juniors you can give your feedback in the comment section you can also post your questions if you have wish you success today and always